If you find yourself with a camera in your hand and want to learn how to use it, please subscribe to this channel, like the videos, comment below. Hi Photos family, today we're talking about a portraiture issue and that's finding what causes your client to smile because it's going to be important to know a little bit of how to interact with them and to communicate with them but it's also good to find out if they have a humor which reacts to a specific joke or uh, perhaps they're a, a sweeter type of personality they like some sort of heartwarming story um, something that you can not manipulate because that's not what at all what photography is about but give them something which will cause them to smile something they like something that it will encourage them something that gets that expression that facial expression you're looking for maybe it's just breaking a little bit of the ice and talking with them so that they relax a little bit more into the camera because maybe it's just nerves it's not that they're not at all happy or ready to smile but they're just nervous and it comes off in a facial expression a uh, deadpan or uh, frowning or a little bit standoff uh, from the camera or, or person to person because they're nervous. Do your best to ease their nerves or to communicate with them and find a joke that they like, but do whatever you can to learn about your client, your customer, and to engender the facial expression that you're looking for. In a portraiture session, whether you're on location or in studio, it's very important not just to be able to communicate and to converse with them, although that will help break up a little bit of that unsurety about the location or the the environment where they are but if they uh, have expressed to you if you find uh, through conversation on the phone when they're booking with you over the phone that you have um, a certain thing that you do or that you like and it's something that they have in common with you use that use that to break the ice and and give a little bit of a culture and environment establishing a relationship with them but also, if you have an understanding of their type of humor, then you can break a joke and give it a smile. Or if you know a little bit about what they like, their perfect vacation spot, that'll help them to relax and go, oh yeah, I plan on being there this time next year, or I'm looking forward to whenever I get to go. If they're more of a sentimental person, they rely more on memories for a smile and, and something that they like, then find their, their um, their best memory that they like to think back to or if that's a little bit too personal for them to tell you then just tell them whatever ask for them to think of a time when they were the happiest or if uh, it involves a specific person then bring that personality into the thought process uh, maybe it's something a little bit outlandish that the person wouldn't ever have, have done but don't take it crazy weird either uh, there was a time where I was sitting for a portrait session as a almost teenager and the portrait photographer, let me the say, the photographer didn't have a good idea of what my humor was. He knew that I would probably respond to uh, something outlandish, like my brother was there uh, inside the studio but off to the side, not in shot. But so he used my brother's illustration something that was outlandish but it wasn't my humor of what he chose to be outlandish so get to know your client get to know their humor and use something within their humor don't just assume something about them because it might be uh, hopefully not you wouldn't do something offensive but uh, a lot of things are offensive to people that we don't count on so get to know them develop a relationship don't just develop a quote rapport and establish it as a relationship um, the rapport is, is the very beginning of the relationship and build on it to build that relationship stronger. So that's the whole point. And as we have built the relationship and we're building our skill set 1% at a time, building one next thing on top of another to have a really good, strong photography and video skill set here on the channel, that's the whole point of the relationship as well. Thank you so much for watching. Leave us a comment down below. Give us a thumbs up so other people can watch. And if you're not yet a subscriber and part of our Photos family, click that subscribe button and make sure the notification bell's on. Thank you so much, God bless.